right, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Bananaman99 coming at you with another video and today it will be episode number <laughs> four. Just kidding. Not episode four. Another episode of the New York Mets franchise mode here. Um, in the last one, we pitched opening day with Noah Syndergaard and walked it off with Bryce Harper. And now we are taking on this game against the Miami Marlins, Andrew Heaney against Jacob DeGrom, the DeGrom and Atel. Uh, so yeah, we are going to get into this one. Um, quick counts on, clear skies, DeGrom, Nimmo's off to a rough start, only 143, Harper 273, Alonzo 350, Conforto 429, McNeil 235, Castellanos 238, and Rio Muto 286, Hicks is at 500, Tebow's at 167, Garcia 333, Flores at 0, and Murphy at 167 as well. All right. We traded Eddie Rosario over here. Um, I didn't realize he wouldn't get signed and he would be a 71, which is just wrong. Um, so, yeah, this uh, team is not that great, this Marlins team. It is not that great. Um, but anyways, guys, I will quick manage the first through the first three innings. Um, except we are pitching, and um, then I will get into the hitting. Nemo, ground out, Harper, strikeout. All right, Jacob DeGrob, 1-0 with a 1.50 earned run average. Lewis Brinson flies one to left center. Nemo chasing it. And getting over, and he'll make the catch one away. Ivan De Jesus. Swing and a foul. One and two from the Grom. Hit to first. Alonzo picks it up and takes it to the bag for out number two. And that'll bring in Eddie Rosario, 9 for 25 so far on the year for him. That one is crushed foul. Swing and a miss. Good change from DeGrom there to get uh, Rosario swinging. Alonzo singles, Conforto out on the fielder's choice, McNeil flies out, Castellanos doubles, and Conforto is thrown out at the plate. Here is Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. Those are his stats. He's not hitting well. One for 14. Slider way outside. 2-2 two -two here. Fouled back. And the 2-2 two -two again. Tapped up the line to first. Alonzo steps on first. Telez pops it up to McNeil. He'll settle under it, make the catch, and that's the second down. And now Brian Anderson, who's a very good player in real life. I like him a lot. As he strikes out there, though. And now JT Realmuto playing his former team, the Miami Marlins. He flies out, DeGrom singles, Rosario singles. Nimmo singles, DeGrom scores, Harper will strike out, and Alonzo walks, and Conforto flies out. So now it's Dilson Herrera, the former Met, who was traded in the Jay Bruce deal. Was acquired for Ike Davis from Pittsburgh, and he was so hyped up. McGee. Oof, good curve. 
One and two now. Grounded to third, Castellanos. Nice play there, two down. And here is the pitcher, Andrew Heaney. He was drafted by the Marlins and inevitably um, wound up with the Angels instead. So now we can take control of the bats. Jeff McNeil we're taking control of right now. All right. It, way to stay alive, McNeil. All right, stay alive up there, kid. 222, not the rookie start I wanted from McNeil. Strike three. Nice, nice curveball there from Heaney. Here's Castellanos. Nick Castellanos. That curveball has a lot of break. That one is going all the way to the gap. Save for third. Whew, I didn't think I would make that. Castellanos inevitably makes it to third. His first trip of the year and looking to make it 2 nothing is Real Muto. He puts one in play to the right side. Herrera coming on, throws in time. The run does score, and it's an RBI ground out. For Mr. Real Muto. The Grom, it's caught! A terrific grab there by the first baseman, Tellis. What a grab. Louis Marinson. I don't think he's doing that great in real life after the main piece acquired in the Yelich deal. The Grom is a good fielder, so I trust him catching this pop-up, which he does. Ivan De Jesus. Weekly to short, Rosario steps, throws, in time, two down. Awesome. Awesome start here. 3-0 to Rosario, though. 3-1. and 3-2. And it is strike three. So the Marlins still without a hit in this one. But it's now Ahmed Rosario, Miguel Del Poso, warming up in the pen. Or Miami. Chopped up the middle. Herrera's got a hurry. And he just does get it there in time, one away. Here is Brandon Nemo. Nemo has an RBI single on the day so far. I traded Cespedes for him to bring back the youth and energy to this team. That was hit a long way. But Nimmo's struggles continue after having a career year last year. Right, Harper. Anderson. Good throw, good scoop. Side. <laughs> Former top prospect Harrison Bader. One and two. Fouled back. One, two again. Taken outside. Two, two. Swing and a miss. With a punch out. Ready for another chance. Number 
two. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And Ben, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he's really spot that pitch. Three and two now to the first baseman. Foul tip. Three and two coming to Brian Anderson here. And he struck out. Nice strikeout there from the Grom. Peter Alonso stepping back in. He singled and walked so far. A bouncer there foul. Oof, good changeup. That's hit to left, and that'll drop for a base hit. Nice hitting there from Conforto. And here is Jeff McNeil. 2-11 so far. Let's uh, call upon uh, Mr. Jamie Callahan. Let's call his name, shall we? Conforto with one gone. Runner at first. McNeil the batter. He hits one the other way. That'll drop foul. One, two to the Mets second baseman coming. And he flares one right to Brian Anderson. And it'll be Castellanos two for two, a triple, a double, and a run scored. Three zero taken low for ball four, and that'll be all. Servino Gonzalez will come on. Rio Muto, the former Marlin, standing in. And he cues one towards short. That will go over the head of De Jesus at short. Drives in Conforto, and. That will be that. Tebow. Tebow coming on to pinch hit now. Let's go, Tebow. Let's go, Tebow. <laughs> Too early on that swing. All right, Jamie. Jamie C. Jamie C. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch there from Jamie C. Good slurve there. Austin D. Slurve. Oh, beautiful. Sandy Alcantara. Isn't he a starter? He's 69 overall, 25 years of age. Drew Smith, let's let's call upon Drew Smith for the seventh. Ahmed Rosario, three and two coming to him. Alcantara sets, deals, and that's going to fall. It's going to be lined down the line for a double. 
So Ahmed Rosario starts the seventh with a leadoff double. His fifth double of the year. Nimmo now standing in. Fouls that one back. Right back to the screen. Little blooper to center. That one will fall for a base hit. Rosario around third. He will score. And it's 4 nothing. The Mets here in this one. And I got picked off. Of course. Bounce to the left side, Anderson, and he's safe! So Harper, running hard, beats it out. Oof, chopped to third. Come on, Peta. And Alonzo strikes out. And now here is Conforto. Oh, Nemo's up to 200. That's good. Good block by McGee. Go to first is in time. Drew Smith. Coming on now. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Lewis Brinson 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. High in the air out to center. I want to try and dive and catch this. And he Whoops. This one down, moving to his right, and that's the now first out of the inning. The shortstop. Stepping in. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. I want to try and dive. Oh! What a slide. What a play. What a play by Conforto there. Struck him out. Nice. Alright. Uh... Let's uh let's go Jacob Raim. One two coming to McNeil. Let's see. Oof. We're getting a curveball. We're lining it, but right at somebody. Wow. Tough night. Tough start to the year for McNeil. Oh, that was a bullet right back to center field. And here is Real Muto. Oh, the Marlins still don't have a hit. I fly ball at the straightaway thinner. Oh, yeah. Please dive and catch this. And nearly extra bases to start the inning, but this winds up foul by inches. Wow. Ah, uh, uh, and that's the first base hit. Damn it. Digging in to try it again. Number 22. Over two with a strikeout in this one. Rain. Come on, Rain. Known for forcing contact. Not a huge strikeout. Ooh. Swing and a miss. 
strike zone. He has good stuff, not great stuff. He's not now afraid to let his defense Number help 15. him out and make some plays. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Brian Anderson goes down for out number two in the bottom half. Swinging bunt to the mound. Tapper. Get Herrera. Good job. You might want to bring in a pinch hitter for your pitcher. Daniel Murphy. Come on, Murph. 36 year old Daniel Murphy. Ahmed Rosario. Yeah, let's let's bring in Jordan Hicks, shall we? Lower that earned run average. Yes, that's gonna get down. A base hit for Rosario. All right, Nemo. Too high, hit too high. There are two down now. All right, Bryce. He's not overrated. Ah, come on, Bryce. All right, Jordan Hicks. Now pitching for the New York Mets. Number 49. Riding in once Jordan again, Travis Hicks. McGee. Over two on his line thus far. Swing and a fastball, and it's one and two. Well, these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his game. <laughs> Number three. That dude is huge. Damn. He was in the Yelich trade too. Six three. Castellanos, nice play. Two out. Three point one eight. Miami down to their last strike. Walked them ball four. Woo! The Grom five no hit innings. Nice performance there. Eight strikeouts. Awesome. Awesome performance from the Grom there. Josh Sellers. Ah. Oh. Oof. 
We're one game behind the Nats. Alright, so it looks like our next game is using Michael Fulmer, which is nice. Four fifty eight. All right, guys. Well, um, anywho, oof, 100. Anywho, um, I am going to end this episode off right here. And in the next episode, we will take on the Chicago Cubs and Michael Fulmer's start. So, once again, I thank you all so much for watching. Um, I do appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. And as always, stay thirsty, my friends, and peace out. Take care.